Hi, I'm Tino Peabody with Peabody Residential. This video on our marketing page for how we market properties is designed to help you get a little bit more of an idea of what we do here at Peabody Residential for marketing and also kind of the important aspects of it and some things that you may not have thought about that we do or that happen during this process. So initially it is going to be pricing, right? So we're going to um, find you as a new client, at which point we are going to help determine the price because you're living in the property and in turn, you don't know what it is and it's your first time renting it. So we're gonna come out, we are going to meet with you, do a market analysis for you, provide you rental recommendations on the time of the availability of the property. So that's gonna be key. So you're going to be looking at the availability time as the least start date that would be available to a new tenant. So from that, we're gonna to wanna to start marketing property 60 days in advance of that, period. And so we are going to be doing pricing research based on that. This is going to be current market statistics. We're gonna do a conditional valuation to determine what may need to be changed. So for instance, if you are looking for top dollar in rent and you have different colors in every room of your home and it's not really, really stylish, you may wanna consider a painting just to make it more neutral. If you have extremely old carpet, you may want to consider replacing it. An initial leasing process is a great time to do some improvements to help with the length of your lease because those, the value of it really lasts a lot longer when you do it initially. If you are releasing a property that's already with a tenant in there, then we in turn would do an evaluation based on the current lease and when it ends and the new market. And then, once we have all that, we will provide you our rental recommendation, discuss it with you, and you will make the final decision on what to do. Either to be aggressive, um, to be a little bit more conservative, depending on your needs and when, how long it is until we have this conversation to when the property is available for rent. To avoid vacancies is the key. Now, then we get into our advertising. So we have chosen to do high quality, wide angle videos of the property. This is a professional photo shoot that's done. It's done by sometimes two people, if not one professional photographer. We then take as many pictures as possible, not only for internet advertising, but for future reference for continual advertising down the road many years from now if possible. We then host this on multiple websites through the Realtor MRIS. We send it out to Trulia, Zillow, Rentals.com, all the major rental websites. And then we also share it with our Rental Realtor Network. Now, I have designed a program that is unique to the area where we work with a pool of tenant agents, not only in one or two brokerages, but multiple brokerages that are not ours across the entire Northern Virginia and Washington DC area. So you have a pool of over 100 and I think maybe 10 realtors now that actively work with tenants, whether their company provides them relocation leads, et cetera. They also get all of our rental leads in order for them to show the property. So this provides them an added incentive to work and show and rent our marketed properties. So the property is on the market for rent and how are things going? What's happening? Well, we found that an owner weekly update is really, really helpful. Okay, this is gonna give you the sense that we are not only keeping up with things, but allow us to update you weekly on what's been happening. And as we use technology, again, as you know, the foundation of our company, we utilize a lot of things that can be tracked. So particularly with us, we actually come up with a comprehensive weekly marketing email to you. This includes the search metrics for Truly and Zillow in that network. It includes all the specific showings when they happened, feedback that we received, positive and negative, um, neighborhood activity. So what is happening in the neighborhood? So it's not just your property, but it's the other properties that were for rent last week, are they still for rent this week? Have they lowered their price, et cetera? And then rental competition updates as far as the properties that have either rented um, or new ones that have come up on the market and whether they're at the same price or lower price. And then finally, properties that have rented, how long statistically they were on the market and then what their condition was compared to yours and what that final price was. So this is how we evaluate things. Our our opinion is that the lowest vacancy rate that you will have will maximize your income, right? That makes sense. The key is that there are a lot of 
decisions that happen during this process, from the initial rental price to the actual rental price, to slower markets to faster markets. These are things that we really do focus on and we communicate well with you in order to help provide you continual recommendations on what to do with your property to get it rented, to maximize the rent, and to find a well-qualified tenant that will hopefully stay for several years, if not more. So, I hope that was informative. Please continue to look around our site. If you have any other questions, fill out the form. We'd love to hear from you.